Did a husband cross the line when he left his wife at the airport? The husband explained they had about 15 minutes until boarding started and his wife insisted on going to Starbucks, which was on a different terminal. He waited as long as possible, but when the gate agent was about to close the door, he decided to get on the plane and the wife did not make the connection. Fellas, what would you do? Welcome to the Clear the Air podcast with DQ. I'm D. And I'm Q. Hey, man. Back in the building. What's up, brother? Look, man, I don't remember what the name or the title of the video that you sent to me, but I'm going to let you talk to us about what today's episode is about. Yeah, man, uh, I came across this video, mm -hmm. um, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, this would be a dope topic to discuss. I wanted to get your opinion on it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, what we do is, rather than to keep the opinions to ourselves, we bring it to y'all. So I'm going to give you the short version first, and then I'm going to add some extra details and right. kind of, because it may change your perspective on the situation. Short version is this. A married couple, man and his wife, are traveling, taking a trip. Mm -hmm. They're flying, and they have a layover. A 15-minute layover, which is not a lot of time, right? 15-minute right? layover. The wife wants Starbucks coffee. The Starbucks is in another terminal. She goes to Starbucks, gets the coffee, the husband stays in their terminal. Mm -hmm. He waits as long as he can to board the plane. They're like, sir, we're about to close the door. He gets on the plane. Wife does not make the flight. She gets left at the terminal with her Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Now with that information, what do you think? Was the husband wrong for leaving his wife? feel like there's some more context to this mm -hmm. without having it. I probably would err on the side of saying that he is. Like, why didn't he wait for her? Um, we'll go with that. Okay. I agree. Right. But I feel like we need some more context. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> so here's the additional context. The husband was going to see his daughter, okay, so this is obviously a child he had from previous relationship. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he was going to see his daughter, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There were coffee places in the term in their terminal, but she, and she also could have got coffee on the plane, but she wanted Starbucks, right? Mm -hmm. That's two. And the last thing is this: they had already missed a flight to go see his daughter because the wife overslept. That same day? I, maybe like the night before or, or a week before or whatever. Oh. Whatever. But they had already planned a trip to go see his daughter and they missed the flight because she overslept. Oh wow. So now with that additional information, missing the flight, there were plenty of coffee places in that terminal and it's his daughter from a previous relationship. With that information, how do you feel about the situation now? I think it adds a couple of things. It makes me think of a, of a few things, right? So it makes me question, is this intentional? Correct. Because of the daughter from a previous relationship. Mm -hmm. It also makes me think of just time management. You know, it seems as if, and then the third thing is, aside from time management, is if you travel, it's clear to know that with a layover, there are people who have layovers for several hours and don't go anywhere. anywhere. Right, correct. So if you're saying that the Starbucks was in another terminal, bro, that, that wasn't a smart move. So it, it, it's that part makes you think of your travel sense, mm -hmm. of you not just being aware of and you should be, because it sounds like they travel, mm -hmm. I don't want to say pretty often, but this is not the first time that you've traveled. And then it's just kind of like, do you not learn from your mistakes? Mm -hmm. So it, it can open up, now that you've given that information, a lot of things that say, something's not right here. I agree with everything you said. Mm -hmm. um, the time management, well, let's start with this. It. it it may come across as maybe she's 
trying to sabotage the trip. Mm -hmm. Maybe she had some ill feelings towards the daughter. I'm, I'm not sure. We don't know. They did not give that part of the contact. Right. But I just think, like, for a layover 15 minutes is not long at all. Actually, 15 minutes, if anything happens on that first flight, you missing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Layover. And you better hope your flight, the connector flight, is in that same terminal. Like, right. you know what I mean? 15 minutes in an airport? Mm -hmm. And if it's a huge airport, you got to get on the tram or tram or whatever it's called. So you just had to have Starbucks. Yeah. You know, like, I guess my, my, my way of looking at it is like this. Don't put me in that position. Like, because now I got to make a decision on the fly. Yeah. And now I got to question, like, you know, my wife, like, what, what, what are we doing here? Why are you, do you not want to go see my daughter? Yeah. You know, you just had to have Starbucks. And I already, I don't want to say waste of bread, because maybe they, you know, Hopefully the airline gave them another ticket since they missed it, but right. if you had to buy two more tickets and we still having these issues, like, it's just, don't put me in that position to have to make that decision, yeah, I like, I like especially that. on the fly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you could have got coffee on the plane. You could have got coffee at one of the places in the terminal where we was at. Yeah. We could have got Scarborough as soon as we landed in the city where my daughter lived. Right. So it's just, <laughs> I think, I think too, like, you know, sometimes you, it also teach you about sacrifices. Exactly. That you put your desire to the side, if, in, and especially in this case, that it could jeopardize something. Right. You know, I think in life, period, we get put in them situations where you want to do something, you want to, you want to go this way, but doing that could be detrimental to everything you got going on Correct. on this side. So I Correct. feel like I feel like you just got to you got to be smarter than that. Correct. Man. You just got to be smarter. And I and so this is the now this is the, the this is the to me the bigger deal. Now what happens cuz I would love to know how did the story play out? And there's a few things I think are going to be the result of that. Did she ever make it for that trip? <laughs> right. That's one thing that it makes me think of. Did she ever make it to that trip? If she did, how was her demeanor mm -hmm. the remainder of the trip? Was she resentful? Was she upset? Was she, you know? And then the other part is if she didn't make it, your man gonna have to come home to something. <laughs> before, hold up, before that, cause she's in the layover city, so she got to go back home. <laughs> So did you buy another flight to go back home? Or are you just gonna chill in the layover city? <laughs> so many things, but yes, you're right. He gotta come back home with that. So what's that gonna be like? Right. And so, <clears throat> you know, I don't this is this is probably a, a an episode, um, a topic episode for later, but mm -hmm. with so many celebrity divorces, it puts that in mind. Because it, let's just be honest, you don't know how the relationship is as a whole with them, right? Sometimes it takes one thing that it's a straw that broke the camel's back. So like I said, what is he coming home to? So when he comes home, it definitely has to be a conversation. You know, you would hope that it would be a conversation to where, because obviously she's going to be upset to where She's able to express how she feels, he's able to express how he feels, and they can move on from it. I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> and so what it what again, what it makes you think of is like what does it lead to further strain on the relationship, you know, moving forward? Does it mean that he does not because if I was in that, if I was in that position, I don't know if I want to travel with. When I say my wife, I'm saying, in his case, my wife, mm -hmm. not my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife ain't doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it makes me think, would I want to travel with my wife if these are the things that happen? Mm -hmm. To me, it's, it's a lot of carelessness. And, and carelessness leads to losing bread. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's the carelessness. It's, it's wasting time, too. Wasting time, <clears throat> wasting bread. So what happens is the carelessness affects many different areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't care, rich or not, who wants to pay for unnecessary traveling tickets? Mm -hmm. It's just unnecessary. 
So let's clear the air. Okay. So the, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you about this is because, you know, I know you have a child from a previous relationship, mm -hmm. and also you are now married as well. So I wanted to get your perspective on this situation, see how you felt about it, and see if you had the same feelings that I felt about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I think it was because at first I was like, yeah, that's kind of, you know, he left his wife, you know what I mean? She didn't have to go get the spouse, but they left. But once I got all that addition from me, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, me, don't put me in that position to have to make that decision. Right. That's, that's me personally. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we're grown, we travel, we know the do's and don'ts at the airport. Mm -hmm. And you already know that 15 minutes is a super short period of the time. Starbucks can wait. Like, come on, what, what, what are we doing right now? Yeah. And I'm glad you kind of pose it in that manner because and this is a great way to end this episode. When you have children from a previous relationship and clearly this child does not live with him, there's a little bit of, that's why it's like I mentioned sacrifice. There's a little bit of sacrifice and that has to happen. Like when you have a child from another relationship, it's challenging, that in and of itself is challenging. There's so many different dynamics. But again, not knowing how this played out, if it played out to where I'll just say the stepmom did not show up. It looks a certain kind of way. And and furthermore, as we clear the air, I'll tell you a quick story and shout out to you because when I had a situation with my daughter for graduation, and it was a it was a not a toss up, but it was a question of if my wife was gonna be there or not. Again, because of the way I run my household, I want all of my children to feel equal and feel loved and in some cases when you have a child who lives outside of the home you have to create an environment to where that child does not feel different than the children that are in your home whether you have children or not and it may and it may be i don't know if it's if you say it's easier when there's not a child in the home like in this case but you, you, you have to do what you need to do to make that child feel like they are a part of the family. Mm -hmm. And so, perfect way to end this episode. There was some question of if my wife was gonna make it to my oldest daughter's graduation. Let me tell you. We pulled up and we parked. My wife came with me. We get out the car and my daughter and her mom literally get out the car as we're walking toward the school. As soon as my daughter got out the car and she saw my wife, she beelined straight to my wife and it was, it was the most beautiful thing that you could imagine. And I didn't know how it was gonna go, but it was, it was a very beautiful thing. And again, shout out to you because I remember you saying, make sure that your wife by any means is there. Mm -hmm. And us making sure that that happened, I'm sure created an environment to where my wife and our oldest daughter, it was just that environment of love, mm -hmm. of like, I want to be involved, I want to be around. And that's what you wanna do. So I don't know, man, I think this thing is so multi-layered, but I pray that a few things. It's not the end of the relationship between the husband and the wife. Mm -hmm. I pray that they were able to repair how it looked mm -hmm. or how it really is of her not being there, missing the flight, especially given that I'm sure that the child knows that they missed another flight because he was supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. So. And, and we pray that she's not trying to sabotage exactly. the relationship between her husband and his daughter. Exactly. I think that's the biggest Probably thing right the biggest there. Thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. if, if that's not the case, then if that is the case, then all that other stuff is, are going to be consequences right. like that. Right. So. Right. Right. Which could be a, its own episode. Mm -hmm. So y'all stay tuned because I'm mm -hmm. sure we'll probably get into more stuff like that. And I'm going to try to find out if the update. I'm going to try to get an update. Yeah. So we'll try to get that to you. So listen. 
As usual, we want to ask you guys to make sure that you're subscribing. Don't just take a look at the footage that we put out, the episodes, the reels, and all of that. Subscribe, like, become engaged, talk to us. We want y'all to talk to us. So don't forget, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Make sure that you connect with us some way. Hit us up in the DMs. Leave your comments. We want to hear from y'all. By the way, let's leave them with this question. What do y'all think about this situation? Was the husband wrong? Was he right? Fellas, what would you do? We out. Peace. Yeah, throw the whole wife away. First of all, he was going to visit his daughter. So when the wife decided to go to another terminal with 15 minutes to board the plane, she made him make a choice between her and his daughter. Erica. So there was just a trip plan before she overslept. So they already missed the flight. So this is the second time that they're going to try to see his daughter. So when she decided that she was going to delay or just take her sweet time, like the plane was supposed to wait for her, then he did the right thing and he got his butt on that plane to go see his daughter.